What's going on, guys? Bengal again here, coming back at you with some more. What is this called? Desperados franchise. We are three and five currently, sitting tied for both second and last in the AFC South. Jags sitting comfortably at the top at six and two. Today we take on the Cincinnati Bengals and Joe Burrow. The Bengals are four and four. They're in eighty-four overall. They got Jesse Bates, Joe Mixon. Should be a very, very good game. But we do have some, some scouting points as well, 204. And we did a lot of trades in the last episode, a lot of them, to where our defense is not amazing. Our offense got a lot worse. I think that focusing on the offensive line at some point is going to be pretty important. But we got some pretty good players at tackle, at least. Titus Howard, Elton Jenkins. It's, a, it's an interesting team. But when you look at defense, the secondary clearly needs to be improved. It doesn't just have to be corner. Safety as well. Earl Thomas is super old at this point. So maybe we take a look at safety today. We've looked at strong safety quite a bit, but free safety now. Can we find anyone who's worth a damn? These guys look less than exceptional. Isaiah Williams might not be the worst. C-plus zone coverage. Speed's going to have to uh, play a big factor at some point, even if it's not now. But we'll have to see what the combine grades are when those things come about. And also, we traded for a pretty big player last episode, Jameel Holloman, and he is due for a contract extension when oh, and he's affordable. So the contract I'm going to offer is 48.5 over 5, which to me is more than fair. 7 mil a year for what could end up being a 99 overall stud middle linebacker. And Jameel Holloman wants more money. He just got traded for, and he's like, I want more money, or I'm leaving. All right, Jameel. He's a good player, though. We might be able to work something out. All right, here goes nothing. We're on a win streak, though, so that's nice. It's pretty uncommon that that actually happens. I am starting Matthew Schmidt today, and we just hope he has a better game. They've been uh, very up and down over the course of the season. But also, he's a rookie. We took him at number one overall. We also have to remember that. I'm not even sure I've ever played in Cincinnati, by the way. This stadium looks really cool in game. What, Paul Brown Field? Paul Brown Stadium? I think that's what it's called. Looks very nice here. I like it a lot. However, we're not focused on that. We're focused on coming away with the win. And we just ran completely past Joe Mixon. You know who I need to step up after Joe Mixon goes for 20? Jameel Holloman. Make a play. Accidentally dove at the start, trying to change players. Okay, that sucks. <laughs> Things are not off to a great start so far. We are getting crushed right now. Have absolutely no answer for the Cincinnati Bengals offense. It's over the middle, into the air, and intercepted! It's Joe McKee! I actually get a cheese interception going my way. I barely believe it. Unreal. Joe McKee coming up huge. Right place, right time. Gets the interception. And it's been a rough year for Matthew Schmidt so far. <laughs> 14 picks to 20 interceptions. Looking like Peyton Manning his rookie year. But guess what? Peyton Manning became a Hall of Famer. And this Austin Desperados team was picking number one for a reason. It's because they suck. I wish he would have caught that. Going outside to Gibbons again. Oh, man, that could have been huge. That was a monster gain saving tackle. And it is third and two. We have yet to run the football. Not going to start now. They just ran that route for him. Basically, man, the CPU, that's Logan Wilson. They know the route before it even gets run. Do they have the playbook? <laughs> well, this happens every game. Finally going to run the football. Hopefully you get some good blocks in there. I wanted to cut it back, but there was just nowhere to go. Maybe you should try to juke him out. I don't know. Trying to screen. Is it going to be illegal man downfield for no reason? They're actually going to call it roughing the passer on DJ Readers. That's just free yards tacked on to the end of the play. So we will take that all day. And hopefully we get Edward T going at some point. That would be nice. Oh, good block on the edge. I mean, it wasn't that good. 
It wasn't that good. We got three yards on one of the most well-blocked plays of the entire year. It's not going to cut it. I want to go Duvernay there. That's a that's just a mistake is what that is. We had options. That was not the best one. The blocking just never holds quite long enough. Weird defense. I think I threw that ball too late. Maybe just a hair. I did uh, I don't know. Didn't like it. Let's run a shorter in with Devin Duvernay. I'm looking left side of the field. That's the read. They blitz. I mean, Devin Duvernay was not the best option there. Again, the route is run for me. But they blitzed the corner, and I was so confused here because, like, something on the left side should be wide open, but we can't throw this ball. This is not open to Givens. You'd expect Naheem Hines to be open, but it's like 99 speed versus the worst route I've ever seen. Like, he's, he's literally jogging the route as slowly as possible so that he can be caught up and covered. Caught up to and covered. Nothing's open. Literally nothing's open. We, we probably do have to adjust sliders a little bit. Because at some point, it just gets a little bit stupid. Did I make that? Alright, 0-0. Zero, zero. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright. I tried to cover it. I did my absolute best. Uh, it's just not meant to be, man. I mean, I can stick with some of these guys in man coverage. I just wasn't ready for that. Wasn't able to strafe the way I wanted to. That's going to be a touchdown. <sighs> Tyler Boyd just saved a touchdown. Do I have to turn off auto flip every single game? I don't want it on. I'm sure I can just do it in the settings, but I wish it would save one time. Just once. Over the middle, that's of course going to be a catch because it's not like my linebacker is right there or anything. All right. Earl Thomas, we're going to bring him up. It's going to be a pretend blitz. Quick throw and touchdown. Auden Tate. What do, you, what do I do there? What do I do there? <laughs> Bengals easy TD. And we are down 7 0. It's wide open. Troy Weldon. I get excited about 10 plus yard gains. We can't really root for 30, 40, 50. We don't have a Dennis Peoples on this team. We just don't. Of course, if you guys watch Jags franchise, you know what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch Jags franchise, have no idea who Dennis Peoples is, you're not a real fan of the channel. Facts. Troy Weldon, another first down for him. He's got to hit the tight end. Look at Logan Wilson, man, on that uh, right slot. He's just playing like a freak. Bouncing all around. Look at Naheem Hines, though. Is this offense moving right now? Anyone, anyone but Edward Teague. Anyone but Edward Teague can run the ball effectively, it seems. Would love Devin Duvernay to get open here, but I just think it's going to be covered pretty tightly. Yeah, we're going to have to run the ball. That's a beautiful shed. <laughs> DJ Reader wasn't even blocked for half a second. Second and 12. I don't like these routes at all. It's kind of open, though. Devarius Gibbons near the first down marker. It's going to be a little short, I think. Third and inches. Do we run the football? We should be able to. I need Nahi Mines to get this. There we go. Edward Teague is in on no important run. All right, second and 19. Let's have to go underneath. Pat Bridge. We'll take back some of the yards that we lost. It's going to be third and long still, but this is uh, better than where we would have been. I'm going to throw a slant on Devarius Givens. I should just keep Naheem Hines blocking so I have time. And we'll just see what develops. Got to throw that. I mean, Duvernay caught it, but like... I don't know how you throw with anticipation against these guys. I'm going to look back at it. I was really looking at Duvernay most of the whole time. Uh, thankfully, nothing really gets open. This is not open. This is an interception, uh, guaranteed, based off what we've seen in the past. You just expect someone that's flat-footed looking the other way, Ben Gideon, to not play the most amazing coverage. Look at the recovery. Look at the recovery there, man. 
It's Ben Gideon. I just want to see his zone coverage rating. Because, I mean, I know I have a problem, and I have to uh, change sliders. But Ben Gideon has 82 speed. I can't wait to see how low this is. And he has 65 zone coverage. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to try another field goal here. I don't know why the field goal speed is always so different than the kickoff speed. Kickoff speed is way faster, and I don't get it. Or at least it feels faster. I'm always early on the field goal. Even there, I made it with Joey Sly. But I almost get perfect, perfect on every single uh, kickoff. It was way faster there. Yet on the field goal, it's so slow. It's very annoying. Run right. We're going to have to make a big play. We can't. We can't. <laughs> I can't get to that. Ah, just behind it. It's a good route. Using the safeties is hard. I might have to switch back to linebacker. That might be the move. Yeah, we are taking over with Jameel Holloman. Jameel, real deal Holloman. Yeah, I mean, look at the way I can play defense and take things away. But I don't think usering Holloman's the move. I think usering Deion Brown's the move because he's just worse. He just ran away. You like how everyone ran away from Auden Tate? This is the thing that makes me the most mad about playing defense, is when my CPU defenders run away from the only man that they're close to. Like, where is Orlando Jones going? If the safety and boundary corner have outside deep responsibility... Why are you chasing as well? They had an easy touchdown up the middle, by the way. Also, uh, that would have been a better throw. But Auden Tate is super wide open as well. Because Orlando Jones... Like, at least pick that guy. If you're going to go deep. It's just sickening. It's a run up the middle. How am I not locking on to that? I'm right next to it. I'm right next to it. First and ten. What's getting open? That's getting open. Nice nice throw, by the way. Oh, nice spin move from, from Pat Bridge. We're going to call a timeout. That was pretty nice. Feels like dialing up slot fade here is a, a bad idea. They close in so quick. That's open, but they, they covered it so well. I don't want to call a timeout. I want to call another play first. Just snap it. I want to throw X. I'm just going to have to check down. It's not even close. Okay. I just noticed it's fourth down now. I got to be more aware of that because I probably call a timeout if I realize it. I just didn't realize it. Go over the middle and Pat Bridge drops the ball. And we don't get any points. Not that 14-6 to six is a whole lot better than 14-3. It does bring up the opportunity for a two-point conversion which could be big but i really wanted uh, a shot at the end zone but all in all i misplayed that at the end of the half not realizing the down and we get football back i probably have to take my points there even if i might miss the field goal and it is paul brown stadium i see that now up at the top so uh, we'll just hope to have a better second half. If anyone wants to block or play defense, we have a chance to win. If not, probably not. We can't even uh, have players catch the football. So we're just in a bit of a tough spot. Read option. Explain this to me. I live in replay mode. Explain this to me, though. When I'm right next to Joe Mixon and I can't wrap up, yet I have that amount of space... And he wraps up. Uh, the new offense is pistol. Kind of want to run the football. That was... Uh, I threw that way too late. It was a defensive end out in coverage, but I threw that way too late because I wanted a different route. And it just never really got open. They read that that was a pass immediately. There's nowhere to go. Hopefully... 
I don't even know what the flag would be. It's going to be holding. It's going to be coming back. How do you hold on a play that is so unsuccessful? And it's Elton Jenkins, too. Our best offensive lineman by a mile. I don't even know what to do here. Maybe just a quick throw to Matthew Wayne is our best bet. I think we can fit that in there. It's going to be... Inter oh, nearly intercepted. It's open, by the way. The throw is just not where it needed to be. But I can punt, though. We all know this. Did I drop a good one in there? Oh, he's going to return it? What is the CPU return logic? I'm right in his face. Playing man coverage is near impossible. It, it is so tough. But zone coverage gets uh, destroyed as well. Using the safety is just really, really tough in general. And that's wide open. I mean, Earl Thomas is 30 yards deep. All right, see, I'm going to try to cover the tight end here if this is a pass. They probably haven't run the ball enough. But it's so tough. That's open, and it's going to be a first down on the next play. It's going to be third and two, third and one. It's wide open. There's really nothing we can do. There's just really nothing we can do. Finally a sack. It's been like 10 weeks since Jeremiah Langford got a sack. I didn't even know if it was possible anymore. Unbelievable. I actually don't even really believe it. <laughs> Still going to be a third and very manageable from the five yard line. Third and goal. I'm worried about a Joe Burrow run here a little bit. But we shall see what happens. Throw away, incomplete. They're going to take their points. Second and seven, running the football. No, please block. Please block someone who's not being blocked. Idiots. Idiots. Third and seven. We're going to have to make something happen uh, just outside of the concept of the play. I'm throwing. I'm throwing the ball. I keep rolling out into Carl Lawson, who's playing contain. That's a... Uh, I don't even know if he... Nah, yeah, Tampa 2 contain. Uh, yeah, I, I have to step up there. But, yeah, it's easier said than done. He's going deep. Townsend! You can't call DPI on that! How? How would it be? How? It's just not there. There's nothing. Jesus Christ. Quick throw, wide open. No one's close enough to tackle. And of course, once we lay a hit, he just bounces off of it. I'm doing a slider overall after this game. These games are just not fun to play, and you guys know that. And it's because they're super unfair. So, I am going to change up some things and make it hopefully a little bit more fun for me, which in turn, I hope makes it more fun for you guys. Might not end up working out that way, but that's what I hope. Every time I change the defenses, they change what they're doing. Which is interesting. Everything seems to be boxed, and he's just going to throw it away. This should be a really good defense. It should be. Everyone's where I want them to be. Burrow's going to run. How does he get that throw off? How does that happen? <laughs> Please. Do not let them score a touchdown. Who's there? How many zones do I have over there supposed to be covering that? Oh my god, dude. What is this camera angle? We had my two linebackers who just froze, ran into each other. Jameel Hollum and Isaiah Simmons, only my two best linebackers. We're down 24 to 3, getting just destroyed. Had no control of Jameel Holloman on that either. They just uh, make me run backwards. That's cool. All right, we got to score a touchdown here. Are we going to come back and win the game? It's extremely unlikely. Oh, Devin Duvernay. That's a face mask. Add 15 on the end. 
Von Bell playing dirty. It's very unlikely that we win this. Very unlikely. However, we're going to make a good run at it. Really going to try here. And I am going to roll out and make, make things happen. I just have to make sure if I roll out, it's not directly at Carl Lawson. As Tavarius Givens gets the first down. It would be nice if someone would beat Press ever. That's open, though. Naheem Hines drops the football. Please, man. It's so rare that everything works out. Good throw with separation. We get a little bit. Good anticipatory throw. And Naheem Hines just drops the football. We go right back to him, though, and he makes up for at least a little bit. I feel like running the ball here. But with the Schmidt. Up the middle. Give me a block. Matthew Schmidt. Vanilla Vic goes all the way. 25 yards to the house. Oh, Matthew Schmidt is sneaky fast. How does he end up scoring on that? Oh, my God. All right, we're right back in it. I'm going to go for two. We're, we're not really right back in it, but it, it, we're better than where we were, which is saying something. All right, here we go. Two-point conversion. Just not accurate at all. Just not at all. Going for the onside here. And they recover it pretty easily. However, even if they score, we hope it's only a field goal. And it means that they have to score faster because there's less yards of field to work with. This is extremely meta strategy. Run up the middle. I'm right there. Okay. We really need a stop here. If we get a stop, they don't even score points, probably. We just got to play defense, man. Please, get after the quarterback. Do something. They've been doing so many audibles at the start. I'm really worried what they're going to do here on third and four. They're going to pass. I'm trying to cover this. And they just check down. No! Uh, another easy first down. There's just no answer for that. Might just try to run mid-blitz for the rest of the game. That might be able to do a little something. Not really. Oh, there we go. There's a sack. It's Jeremiah Langford again. So all you have to do is run uh, nickel, two, four, five, double A gap. And just get a safety on the line. Especially if he's covering the running back. We just overload. They got to make a quick decision. And it's Jeremiah Langford again. Third sack of the game. I'm cheesing now, baby. This actually turned into kind of a long field goal. I think Rosas drilled it, though. Sure did. <laughs> I mean, Logan Wilson is just not fun, man. How are you supposed to fool him? He's unfoolable. I can't even throw the screen. How does Joe Burrow get these quick throwaways? I can't even throw the screen. The game's over. We know this. If we can even get another point, I would be surprised. Duvernay, up the seam. <laughs> Couldn't catch it. The ball's so late. We have to go for it. I don't know why we'd punt here. There's no point. Or we just need a little bit of time. Have to try and lead this out. Weldon, go up and get it. Nearly intercepted and incomplete. It's going to be straight runs for the rest of the game. This one's over. These audibles every play are getting so annoying. I can't tell you why. They're just pissing me off. Because there's no point. Quick throw over the middle. It's wide open. It's always going to be. Third and inches. What can we do here? Get a stop. Does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. Probably no to both questions. Oh, we actually did get a stop. It's the rookie, DeAndre Love. Actually, that's not that DeAndre Love, but it's not the rookie. DeAndre Tatum is who I was thinking of. Just a random guy. They're going for it on fourth and one, trying to end the game. Rude. But it's going to be open either way. It's a touchdown. <laughs> what are we supposed to do there? Nothing. Can't do anything. If they want a touchdown, they can score one, like, pretty much every play in those situations. 30 seconds to go. We have... 
nine points, no passing touchdowns for Schmidt this game. But I don't really think there's anything I can do about that. Guys just don't catch the football. They don't get open. Haven't thrown an interception this game, but it's impossible to get in the end zone. So I, I am going to do a slider overall. I mentioned that, and I will be showing that at the end of the episode, probably the start of the next one, just because it's so frustrating. What an unbelievable catch. One-handed snag. Was that Devarius Givens? Oh my god. That catch is insane. <laughs> that is an insane catch. That, that really is wild. We're all out there. Run, run, please. Here we go, second and two. What's she gonna do? Throw on the run. It's super off the mark. It's a very, very, very tough throw. I'm fully aware of that. But that doesn't mean I didn't want it. Um, okay, we got single high safety. How can I exploit this? Like this. It's gonna work. Oh, that's going to be lobbed right into a uh, defensive end. Dropping back into coverage. Didn't even see him. All right, last play of the game. We'll see what happens. Play action. Maybe they think it's going to be a run. Who knows? Weldon, go up and get it. Oh, my God. Troy Weldon. 43-yard touchdown. The guy's catching is not the issue. They have high catching ratings. But no one gets open. We're still going to lose by a ton. Cool play to end the video, I guess. Or end the game. Video's going to go on a little while longer. We're going to end up losing 34-16. I, you know, I don't even know what to say about this one. All right, so what do you say about this game? Schmidt could have been worse. Threw for only a touchdown. No picks. 261 yards. A lot of incompletions. A lot of those were drops, too, man. Uh, rushing, per usual, couldn't really run the football at all. Like, Naeem Hines averaged 3 per carry, 1.5 for Edward Teague. I'm not just going to keep running the ball into my offensive lineman. So we went with uh, more passes. And then Matthew Schmidt, 5 carries for 64 and a TD is quite good. Receiving, I mean, yeah, we just got dominated. I don't even want to look at that. Uh, drops, we had 3 players with a drop, which was cool. Naeem Hines had 6 catches for 49 yards. He was the leading receiver. Troy Weldon ended up having a pretty good game, all things considered. But, I mean, it was just a disaster. It was just super bad. A couple of tackles for loss here and there. And then three sacks for Jeremiah Langford, which we really schemed the hell out of those. But at least he makes the thumbnail. This was a disaster of a game. I really just felt like I was going through the motions of getting beat, and I don't, wa I don't want that. So we got to mix things up. Okay, so new sliders are going to be this. We're going to decide here. Uh, pass blocking, I'm kind of fine with that. Pass defense reaction time needs to go up a lot. I'm going to turn that up to 45. Pass coverage up to 40. Interceptions to 45. I think that's better. Tackling up to 47. So my defense is going to get a little bit better. CPU skill, like their accuracy doesn't matter. It, they're just going to be accurate no matter what. I'm going to turn it down to 80. Their pass blocking down to 55. Their wide receiver catching down to 90. Run blocking down to 85, we'll say. Uh, pass defense reaction time, they need to be worse. Pass coverage needs to be worse. Interceptions need to be, needs to be worse. Uh, tackling could be worse, too. A, a broken tackle by me every once in a while would be kind of nice. So, some minor changes here. But hopefully some changes that will end up making these games a more enjoyable experience. So, that is going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Ben Bones, see me high step to the end zone. My life like a game Nintendo. Play with the best, let them know. Get off the track, the train coming through. Yeah, promise you get in my way, then you best believe I'ma just run over you. Yeah, yeah, I'ma turn taking it back to the house. Defense a joke, I'm laughing so loud.